wreaking havoc at City Hall. A small number of angry loyalists managed to breach security. Their violent protest left a doorman injured and forced the suspension of the council meeting. Hundreds of loyalists had gathered while councillors debated a motion on the union flag. When the vote to lower it split the chamber inside, tension reached breaking point outside. Unionists argued that it should fly here every day as it has done for a century. The neutral alliance party proposed flying it on designated days and nationalists backed the compromise. Police quickly restored calm here at City Hall, but the trouble then spread to other parts of the city and officers found themselves dealing with a series of sporadic disturbances. Armoured vehicles were used to clear a makeshift barricade from one of the main roads. Rioters played their usual cat and mouse game with the police service of Northern Ireland. Youths congregated at familiar flashpoints. Some were masked, others used scarves to hide their identity. Their attacks on police came in bursts. Bricks, bottles and other debris turned into weapons. None of the skirmishes lasted long, but the violent nature of them will cause concern. It's a stark reminder of a fragile peace and flies in the face of hope. David Blevins, Sky News in Belfast.